everyone and welcome back in this video we're going to be talking about Zed run and what the different generations are and what they mean so if you're new to Zed run or you just want to understand a little bit more about the different generations this is going to be the video for you so if you're new to the Zed community Zed run is an online NFT game I like to call it the horsey game where we play with invisible horses but we use real money so let's get into today's video where I'm going to talk about the different generations because there are some nuances which I believe are going to be very important for the game especially moving forward let's get to it so currently there are five different generations in the game and here they are all on this chart and this is going to allow us to take a look at it and kind of look at how these different generations interact with one another and some nuances especially as it relates to males and females when they breed and if you can stay at a level or not so the first generation right up here at the very top the first generation of horses are called genesis horses now genesis horses cannot be bred there can be genesis horses cannot be created by players in the game the only way that Genesis horses come about is directly from drops from Zed Run. And there is an infinite amount of horses that are going to be dropped. So once those drops are done, that's it. That's all the Genesis horses that are ever going to be available in the game. So for your Nakamoto's, your Z1's, there's 1,000 of those. There's 1,000 of your Z2's for a total of 2,000 Nakamoto's. 2,000 Zabos, and then it kind of goes down the list. But we're going to kind of move those breeds to the side today. We're just focusing on the generations. So first off, that first run is the Genesis generation. Those cannot be created by players in the game at any time. The next level down, if you have, so you have these horses that are created by Zed Run. You have your Genesis horses. And you take a Genesis male and you take a Genesis female and you pour yourself some wine. You, you, the, she gets a back rub and then all of a sudden they have a baby. That baby is no longer a Genesis horse because it was not created or dropped directly from Zed. That horse moves down to the second generation level. And we call those legendaries. So legendaries can only be created when two Genesis have a baby. Then, if a legendary boy and a legendary girl fall in love and they have a baby, that becomes an exclusive. So let's go back for a little bit on legendary. So if you have a boy, on this left column here is a female and on the right is a male. And you'll notice here, if you look at the female, if a female breeds with the Genesis, it moves down to an exclusive. With a legendary, it moves down to an exclusive. With an exclusive, it moves all the way down to an elite. With an elite, it goes to a cross. So if you look across the summary of there, if you take some time and look at it, no matter what a female legendary horse breeds with, its offspring will go down to an exclusive. There is no way, and that's the same for the males as well on the legendary. Okay, you notice on here, a legendary and a genesis becomes an exclusive. A legendary and a legendary becomes an exclusive. So there is no way to hold, if you will, at the legendary level. If you have a female horse, you want to make a baby. If you have a female legendary horse and you want to make a baby, that baby cannot be a legendary, no matter what combination you use. What's interesting in the game is that at the next level, that all changes. And that goes down to the exclusive and the elite. And this is where the different nuances and the importance of females and males in the game are really going to become interesting, especially as we move forward and all of those Genesis drops are done and people want to hold these different levels or these different generational levels. So if you look at the exclusive level, this is the first one. If you have a female exclusive and you breed her with a Genesis male, this is the first time this little box right here you don't drop down in generations at all. An exclusive female breeds with a Genesis male. That horse stays an exclusive. Obviously, there's lots of theories going on, but this is going to make your male Genesis very important and these levels of females very important. This happens at the next level, too. This is the only other level, which is the elite generation. If an elite female breeds with a Genesis male, you stay an elite. Those are the only points in time where you can hold a generation level. 
after that, depending on what generations breed together, you're going to move down at least one generation or several generations. And there is no point currently in the game where you can move that horse back up a generation. The best you can do is hold a generation level. Now the complexity and the nuances of the generation, which is still being figured out, and obviously this is part of the gameplay, is it, what breeding combination is going to produce some of the best racehorses as well as some of the best breeders in the game moving forward. Which ones are going to have the most value? Genesis males are going to be important because they're finite. There's a limited number of them. If you look at the Nakamoto's, for example, the Z1s and the Z2s combined, there's a total of 2,000 horses. That means only 500 of them are males. And as the game progresses, the, the number of these horses is just going to continue to go up, 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 and up. So if you want to continue to be an exclusive Nakamoto, there are only going to be 500 males available to breed with in the entire game for all of eternity. So obviously Genesis generation is, is going to be very key to the game moving forward. That becomes very evident watching how important these Genesis horses are going to be to the game. What, what level these exclusive and elite? Obviously the females have a very important role in that as well because they're the only ones able to hold that level. If a male exclusive, if you get a male exclusive horse, uh, he cannot hold that level. He needs a female at that level to be able to hold that generation. Now, you assume that because they're Genesis horses, those are absolutely the best. But what we're seeing currently in the game is that some of the best races are these exclusive and elite style horses. So the complexity of, of breeding these different generations, if you take a pacer and you breed it back with an exclusive, what does that produce, especially at these different levels? So... This is going to be a very integrant, this is one of the many rabbit holes that goes with the game of Zed Run, and one of the things that make it very, very interesting. Hope you enjoyed the video. Have any questions, drop them below. Follow for more Zed content. See ya.